Hello everybody, this is Avinash here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a 3 PC Liquid Galaxy. You just need to have Google Earth on all the 3 laptops and that's it. Okay, so we need to open command prompt on all the 3 laptops. Yes, uh, it's open on this. It's open on this and it's open on this one too. So all you have to do now is check the IP address of uh, both the slave laptops. This is one slave and the other one, this is one slave. Now uh, if we type IP config, it's going to give us the details. So uh, IPv4 address is the IP address of uh, this laptop and uh, the same way here uh, uh, IPv4 address uh, 192.168.1.7 is the IP address of this laptop and now I'm going to ping these two with the master so this is the master system so this IP address is 192.168.1.4.168.1.4 and yes it's pinging and I'm getting a reply yes so this has been pinged perfectly the same way for this system too it's 192.168.1.7 so uh, ping 192.168.1.7 and yes I am getting a reply and yes this is perfect too so now we have uh, connected both the uh, slaves to the master machine Google Earth Pro needs to be installed on all the three systems that is the master system and the two slave systems so we need to go to Google and type Google Earth Pro the first link is going to redirect us to the required website once you click on it this page will appear and then you have to click on agree and download make sure you do this for every laptop that this is a master and the two slaves once you click on it google earth pro setup begins to download and after a few seconds it finishes uh, the downloading process and after that the installation process happens and once the installation is done google earth can be launched as you can see now, Google Earth has been launched on all the three laptops and now we are going to begin the actual work by editing the drivers.ini file in each of the laptops. I am going to show you where the drivers.ini file is. You need to open file explorer and after that go to local disk C in which you will find program files. You will find a folder called Google. Inside that there will be Google Earth Pro. There will be client and inside client there will be a drivers file that is the drivers.ini file that you need to edit if you right click on it you will have an option called edit with notepad plus plus you need to click on it and you will have a tab opened you can see the tab opened here and below the settings you need to add a few lines of code a few lines of extra code that you will be able to find from google so just press enter here so that you just make space for it and then you can add the code here and you will be modifying that so to get that extra code we just need to go to google and type liquid galaxy uh, quick start yeah so uh, the first link is going to redirect us to the required website again and once this loads you just scroll down and below the setup start uh, uh, setup drivers or dni we have this code which we need to copy so I'm going to copy this and go to notepad plus plus and I'm going to paste it here so once I paste it here I'm just going to leave a bit more space for inundations and that's it so this is the code this has to be done in the master, the slave and now we have added a few lines to the actual code of the drivers.ini file after this here we see in the master machine this is the master machine and in this we have we have a text called slave ip goes here this needs to be replaced with the broadcast address of the local area network so to get the broadcast address we need to open command prompt again and then type ipconfig 
so here we have it here in the in the last column we have uh, something called default gateway so it has 190 root or 168.1.1 and also we have something called a subnet mask that has a value of 255 or 255 or 255 or 0 now these two needs to be combined so the final broadcast address would be 192.168.1.255 or so here the last one is being replaced by 255 now I'm going to change this I'm going to add the broadcast address in this place and yes please take note that this is the master PC and in this there is an option called view sync send which is equal to true and view sync receive is equal to false so the meaning of this is from the master PC information is going to be sent to the slave PCs but that's not going to be any information that is received if you think about it the slave PCs don't require the code where you need to specify the broadcast address since it's just going to receive information also in the column of view sync send it will be false and in view sync receive it is going to be true and you can also eliminate this one line in the slave PC that is the host name line and now I'm going to change the false to true and the uh, true to false the same process has to be followed for the other slave machine too where the true has to be set to false and the false to true also the view sync host name line has to be erased and after doing this all the codes in the three machines have to be saved Now we have achieved the basic liquid galaxy screen sharing and as we can see whatever is seen in the master is also seen in the two slave PCs and I can control the slave PCs with the master PC and there is a bit of a lag but it is fine it is due to the network issue it still works. So once we have achieved the basic liquid galaxy screen sharing we can proceed to setting the yaw offset in all the three laptops this will make sure that uh, all the three laptops act as one interface for Google Earth. Here we can see the yaw offset limits set to 0. We need to change that to 35.5 since it is to the left of the master PC. Yes, you guessed it right. Whatever is to the right of the master PC that slave machine has a yaw offset limit of minus 35.5 and now we need to save these I am going to open uh, Google Earth Pro after I open Google Earth Pro on uh, the master uh, so let's see if the view sync is working now yes so it has loaded now on the other system and the system I'm waiting for it to load okay so now we have the final view of it and if I move it here it's moving on the other systems too so I'm going to try to zoom in here it's expanding it's expanding slowly so let's let's do a search I'm going to search for USA you can see that one earth is being shared on these three laptops together and yes so it's working fine even though there's a bit of a lag due to network issue uh, I'll zoom it in and if I zoom it in it's again going to be shared on these, t these two laptops Hey all, I'm actually editing the video that you're watching right now and there are a few things that I'd like to share with you all you need to have the same version of Google Earth installed on all the three of your laptops only then it's going to work and also these three systems must be connected to the same internet that is the same LAN connection or the same wireless network only then this is going to work there's another thing that you need to take care while doing this liquid galaxy installation a few users might not be able to use the ping command to properly link the master and the slave machines in that case you need to use a static ip and you need to set that from the control panel if you go to the control panel you have an option to set the static ip and you can use that instead of the ip address that is provided also you need to switch off windows firewall 
this ensures that information is properly you know passed through the master throughout to the slave and there is no restriction in between also you need to keep in mind that while you are editing the drivers.ini file google earth application must be closed once you are done editing the uh, drivers.ini file you must uh, save it and then open the google earth application only then it is going to work properly all right i'm done now i'm going to have a snack bye bye see you guys later